what you gonna do? It's the granddaddy of them all, the show of shows, the showcase of immortals, the grandest stage of them all. No matter what you call it, it's WrestleMania. Superstars work their entire life to make it to the biggest stage, and there is no stage bigger than the WWE's trademark event. Today, we want to look at some of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history. These matches define careers, told great stories, and most importantly, created legendary moments. Number 10, Bret Hart vs. Owen Hart, WrestleMania 10. Looking to step out from the shadows of his older brother Bret, Owen Hart would turn heel after a string of losses and challenge the Hitman to a match. With something to prove, Bret and Owen would open WrestleMania 10 in a fast-paced back and forth match. You see, Bret Hart would be pulling double duty as he and Lex Luger both won the Royal Rumble, so they both had a shot at the champion Yokozuna. Owen showed he was on equal ground as his brother in one of the best bits of storytelling in WrestleMania history. Owen would secure a pinfall victory and he would come out of Mania looking like a star. Number nine, The Undertaker vs. Triple H, WrestleMania 28, the end of an era. Triple H would attempt to defeat The Undertaker, but this time he had a little insurance in his back pocket as HB Shizzle was the special guest referee. The deck was stacked against the dead man inside the Hell in a Cell. In a brutal contest with vicious strikes, steel steps, and a ton of chair shots, the Undertaker would fend off Triple H and Shawn Michaels and the odds to go 20-0 at WrestleMania. Number eight, Daniel Bryan vs. Batista vs. Randy Orton, WrestleMania 30. Batista returned to the WWE in 2014 and won the Royal Rumble. So it was he who was supposed to headline WrestleMania against Randy Orton. But the fans had a different idea. You see, at this time, Daniel Bryan was hot. He had just turned on the Wyatt family and he was the most lovable underdog the WWE had ever seen. After losing to Bray Wyatt earlier in the night in Pittsburgh, we, and I say we, cause I was sitting right there, hijacked the show and booed all of it. So thanks to that booing and punk leaving, Vince had to call an audible. He had no choice but to turn Batista heel and insert Daniel Bryan into the main event. After he beat Triple H, of course, Bryan would face Batista and Randy Orton in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Daniel Bryan would defeat the two future Hall of Famers after submitting Batista to the Yes Lock. The fans in New Orleans went bonkers and Bryan put a cherry on top on one of the greatest WrestleManias in history. Number seven, the Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ricky Steamboat. WrestleMania 3. The main event of WrestleMania 3 was Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. But it was really Randy Savage's clash with Ricky Steamboat that will go down as one of the greatest matches of all time at WrestleMania. Savage and Steamboat were two of the most gifted and entertaining in-ring wrestlers. This epic clash for the Intercontinental Championship ended when Steamboat countered Savage's slam and pinned him to win the title. Number six, Edge and Christian versus the Dudley Boys versus the Hardy Boys. WrestleMania 17. There are three tag teams that define the Attitude Era. Edge and Christian, the Dudley Boys, and the Hardy Boys. Their match of choice, tables, ladders, and chairs. So when these three tag teams were placed in a TLC match at WrestleMania 17, chaos was bound to ensue. The WWF Tag Team Championships were also on the line. Jeff Hardy executed a dangerous, yet highly successful Swanton Bomb off the top of the ladder. But the defining moment and one of the greatest moments in WrestleMania history was when Edge speared Jeff Hardy in midair. That would lead to Christian pulling down the title belts and making them your new tag team champions. For those of you with the benefit of flash photography. Number five, Shawn Michaels vs. Chris Benoit vs. Triple H. WrestleMania 20. Chris Benoit would battle two of the greatest wrestlers in WWE history. The pace of this match was exhilarating as all three men put forth their greatest efforts in dishing out the most punishment possible. HBK got cut open, Triple H got cut open, and Benoit got double suplexed through the announce table. Benoit would win the match with the crossface in one of the greatest multi-man main events in WrestleMania history. Number four, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock, WrestleMania 17. There's no doubt about it, the Texas Rattlesnake and the People's Champion are superstars 1A and 1B in terms of popularity in the WWE. Though their runs might not have been as long as we'd like, they're two of the greatest superstars of all time and definitely on the Mount Rushmore of WWE. Luckily for us, their greatest showdowns always happened at WrestleMania. The best one was at WrestleMania 17. The place, Houston, Texas. The match, no disqualification. The champion, The Rock, would put his title on the line against Stone Cold Steve Austin. The two superstars absolutely brutalized each other, and with the assistance of Vince McMahon, Stone Cold would solidify a heel turn 
with a chair shot heard around the world. And one of the most shocking storyline events in WWE history, Austin would capture the title after joining forces with the boss, Vince McMahon. Number three, Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon, WrestleMania 10. Shawn Michaels has been sprinkled pretty frequently throughout this list, but that's why they call him Mr. WrestleMania. At WrestleMania 10, the Heartbreak Kid and the Bad Guy put on the greatest ladder match in WWE history for the Intercontinental Championship. The key word here, innovation. When WWE legends and Hall of Famers describe this match, they say Shawn Michaels went out there and put on a match with a ladder. In the end, the bad guy was victorious, but Michaels' innovation and ability were on full display, and it's exactly why he earned the moniker of Mr. WrestleMania. Number two, Undertaker vs. Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 25. Some consider this the greatest WrestleMania match of all time, and for good reason. You had arguably the two greatest and most decorated WWE superstars of all time in the ring. The two wrestling icons would blow the roof off Reliant Stadium in Houston. Michaels hit Taker with the sweet chin music twice, but it wasn't enough to end the streak. HBK looked like he had the upper hand when he climbed the ropes to perform a moonsault, only to be caught in midair by the dead man. Taker hit him with another Tombstone pile driver and won the match, extending his WrestleMania streak to 17-0. You see, this is one of the very few times that people actually thought Taker's streak might end. The two would go on to have a rematch the next year in a career versus streak match. Shawn Michaels would lose, but they put on another great one that could have been on this list. Number one, Bret Hart versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, WrestleMania 13. The two superstars faced off in a submission match with Ken Shamrock acting as a special guest referee. The Hitman won after Austin passed out without submitting to the sharpshooter. Bret would leave the hold on and viciously attack the Texas Rattlesnake. This was one of the finest matches of Bret Hart's career and it was a defining moment in Austin's rise to superstar. Their in-ring chemistry was pure excellence and few Mania matches have come close to matching the intensity and overall quality that Hart and Austin displayed. Also, this is probably the greatest image in wrestling history. Stone Cold Steve Austin locked in the sharpshooter with blood dripping down his face and not submitting. Man. What are some other matches that belong on this list? Join us in the comment section below. Say your prayers and eat your vitamins, Quantum Maniacs. We'll see you next time on Quantum Mania.